So, uh, TK, if we could uh, focus back on opportunities in China uh, for renewable energy, uh, where do you see more opportunities? Is it solar? Is it wind? Is it nuclear? Yeah. So, in uh, you know, for you know, uh, zero carbon, you know, energy, it includes uh, nuclear as well as renewable. For renewable, uh, mainly would be wind and solar. So actually, we, we are, we are open-minded about you know, technologies that we want to invest. And uh, for example, you know, in Hong Kong, we have been investing in Taipei Nuclear Power Station and import you know, the nuclear power to Hong Kong. Uh, at this moment, actually, it amounts to about a quarter of the uh, electricity requirements you know, for the whole Hong Kong. And it also helps reduce carbon uh, you know, very significantly. And going forward, we would you know, look for opportunity to bring zero carbon energy from the mainland to Hong Kong in order to you know, further reduce the yes. carbon emissions in, in Hong Kong and help uh, retire coal generation. TK, talk to us about uh, new opportunities, new customers and uh, diversifying the revenue stream and in particular the data centres. And uh, mm. we all know how energy intensive uh, those data centres are. How is CLP positioning and meeting that demand? Yeah, so uh, in, in Hong Kong, uh, we have uh, you know, had our uh, 2024 to 2028 uh, development plan approved by the Hong Kong government. So when you, um, in that development plan, uh, uh, you know, the, the capital expenditure approved is about 529, uh, you know, um, uh, five, uh, 52.9 uh, billion Hong Kong dollars. And um, uh, one of the key uh, uh, you know, objectives of you know, the investment is to make sure that we have the sufficient infrastructure to support Hong Kong's development. And data center definitely is one of the uh, you know, key areas. Uh, in our plan, you know, in the coming five years, uh, there could be around about 18 uh, data centers you know, coming online as compared with just four in the past you know, development plan period. So we can see the huge demand of data centers in Hong Kong, and we want to make sure that we will have sufficient investment to support the electricity supply for those data centers.